is that it's weird that you can't say tranny the oh. tranny is somehow or another negative yeah look it's, these are noises that we make i know Chappelle was like the that was the thing you know he like brought he got a lot of shit on the old one mm -hmm. or the one from a year ago yeah and so he he brought up the topic again but he said trans people he yeah like, he was real specific on that part you know? yeah i guess in the last one he's like fucking trannies man <laughs> <laughs> well it's there's certainly a lot of thought policing going on, and there's language policing. Yeah. And we have to wonder, like, how much of that affects the way people actually feel and how much, like, and how much of it is just people trying to control the way people communicate and, and dictating the languages. Because, like, when you go to the far end of the spectrum, there's these new uh, gender pronouns yeah that there's there's literally Zims are, yeah there's yeah. like 78 of them yeah which i think are utterly preposterous it's absurd absurd it is absurd you just you're make believing you have you make believe language you're inventing all these new words and it's not like there's some universal uh, agreement going on and everybody it's not like remember when ms was a thing yeah <clears throat> there was mrs and mr but then there was miss mm-hmm and Mr. was married or Mr. was not married, and women were like, well, what the fuck? How come we don't have one of those? Yeah, so now So they came up with Ms. Ms. But yeah. it never really stuck. No. Like, no. nobody uses Ms. No, it has to be like a real formal, you know, writing Even or then, something. Even then, would yeah. you say Ms.? I guess they would. Never. In the writing, they might, you know, might write MS if it was like, I don't know, a piece of journalism or something to, in to indicate the person's single status. I never hear that. Yeah, but you don't hear it spoken a lot. No, no, but they were trying to push for it for a while. Yeah. And that was something that was like on the borderline of being accepted by the common vernacular. Yeah. Shit. It but is. Zer. I also wonder like how many people are just professionally upset at shit that's said wrong, you know? Like they, they're just, their reaction to everything is, is like, it's like their, their job is to police and react. You right. shouldn't have fucking no no no. That's not okay. What about it's like almost how um academia exists today. You see like the way that people are on campuses, it's like fucking that yeah. is not a reflection of the real world. No. To consider everyone's feelings at all times? Why? That's yeah. not how shit works. No. When no, people it's... get upset and get offended at things, that's fine, but like that everyone should like dial back everything they say to make sure everyone feels protected. That's not how shit works. What's been really interesting the last five days, there's been a battle going on in my Twitter mentions that I haven't dived into at all. Really? But yeah, but lesbians have been going at it with transgender people oh, in really? my Twitter mentions. And this is like long going conversations. They're going back and forth and remarkably civil. But what's interesting is all these lesbians, one of the things they've been saying it's been. I, I dive in every now and then and read some of it and going, what the? F this is crazy. I got to get out of here. Yeah. But that lesbians um, were trying to say that a lot of the violence that happens in supposed lesbian relationships is actually transgender men to women, where they Whoa. switch over and then they're beating up on um, their girlfriends, and that wow. they're bringing their masculine, toxic violence into the world of lesbianism, and they're not willing to be honest about it. And there was all there's like this crazy debate going on back and forth. This yeah. lady was citing statistics of how many. Um, I wonder how accurate that is. I don't know how many women in. Well, she was a lesbian, and she was pretty, uh, pretty. Not that you're a fucking expert, 100 percent on facts if you're a lesbian, but right. but she was pretty adamant. She was a lesbian about who had statistics. her lesbian stats. Like straight, yeah. yeah. Well, the other thing she was saying, lesbians like women, and that she doesn't know any lesbians that want to date a transgender woman, like that used to a, someone who used to be a man mm. and is now a woman. She goes like, that's not what we're attracted to. We're then attracted to actually that, women. Wouldn't that kind of negate the argument because they're like she's, if if formerly male transgender women are beating up their lesbian girlfriends, then there are lesbians out there. There are that, some that yeah. are dating and attracted to these transgender women. Yeah, that would it, it does get it muddy there, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So she's saying like we're not into that. It's like, well, your stats then don't back up your argument because that's clearly what you're indicating. You're saying that these transgender women that were formerly men are dating women yeah. and beating them up. I think she was saying and people she knows. 
Oh, so that's like her friends. So, yeah. so like Elizabeth and Sarah aren't into it. So that's supposed to. But it's like, how else could you know? I mean, you'd have yeah. to have like a poll. Like of how many of you uh, gals out there are into eating pussy like eating fake pussy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a wild stat to consider. I'd never thought of that. Yeah. And there was this going back and forth with um, lesbians versus uh, transgender women. And then they started getting some pe people started getting hostile. Like, let's just cut the shit. You have a Y chromosome. You're a fucking man. And then it was Ooh. like, whoa. And then it's, there was a lot of that going on. There was a lot of you want us to assume and not just assume. We want You want us to just go along with the idea that you absolutely are of the wrong gender. And there is no way that you could just be crazy. Yeah. There's no way you could actually have gender dysphoria. There's no way you could actually have a mental illness. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. And that's that's one of the weird things about any group, right? You're going to have a certain amount of people that are mentally insane. They're mentally they're they're gonna oh yeah any group any group any group. There's a certain if you have a, a thousand people, there's a certain percentage of those people that are just gonna be insane. Yeah, but. When it comes to gender, we're supposed to ignore that. We're right. never supposed to think like, oh. You're out of your mind. Yeah, no, yeah. you're out of your mind. Yeah. You're, yeah. You, no, you're definitely a woman born in a man's body. And I, you, you, Dude, I tell you, I support all the trans rights and, and everyone doing all this stuff. The only thing that I ever go like, that doesn't seem right, is with athletics. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing where I feel like, it's not that I don't feel like someone should be able to play any sport and compete, but like when a dude transitions to becoming a woman and it's like I play basketball now it's like come on man yeah like I get it you're you you have the right to live your life and play but like you have all those skills that you developed as a man and now you're playing against frailer smaller you know yeah like that to say that like you can't bring that up that that's offensive is ridiculous to me well, especially when it comes to fighting. Fuck yeah, man. That was the big one. And that was where I really understood like how bizarre and the how defensive cult, for that? Yeah. How cult like this this ideology is. I'd like, like to see you transition to a woman and fight women. It'd be a lot of fun. People, <laughs> fucking to have what, twelve murder charges? <laughs> that would be the fun part. It doesn't make any sense. No, of course not. The bone structure is so different and people that deny that are fucking crazy. I know. That's that that is silly, man. It's or like, different. what if what if I like transition, whatever, anyone, a man, and does a uh, powerlifting? Well, like, people have done that, and they're winning and breaking all these records. Of course they are. Yeah. And why are we like? Why are we not stopping being like that? Doesn't no. That doesn't. Because count. we want to save people's feelings. Exactly. And silly. What's really fascinating is in the process of being super progressive, you you go towards the most maligned uh, part section of society, which is like transgender people. And so everybody else who also has been marginalized by society, like women, mm -hmm. women get put on a, they get put in a less protected category right. than transgender women. Right. So a man becomes a more protected class of woman yeah. than a, a natural born woman herself. That's very interesting. It's that, crazy. That is. It's very true also. Yeah, it's crazy because yeah. all these women that got beaten up by that man who became a woman who yeah. started fighting in MMA fought two women before ever disclosing the fact that she used to be a man mm -hmm. because she said it was a medical issue that had nothing to do with them, which is just shows you how completely insane the logic behind all Did this is. Did she still fight this? <clears throat> she hasn't in a while. But uh, now everybody knows she lost to a woman who she did, yeah, who oh. an actual woman who wound up. Uh, yeah, I said actual. Fuck off. Yeah, people are like, what? did you say? Oh, Which, did you say actual but woman? That's, but did that's you wild. say that? What did you say? But that's wild, right? That a woman beat. She's not woman? good. No, oh. she's not good. She's not a good fighter. No, she's just strong. Yeah, like there's nothing you you don't look at her and think like, oh, she fights like Chris Cyborg or. She boxes like Claressa Shields. No, she's not that unbelievably talented. Right. She's just physically way Super different. Strong. Yeah. She's a fucking man. Yeah. She's a man for thirty years. Yeah. Had children. This was when it, when I knew it was crazy. I got in a conversation with someone and online where this woman was like, she's always been a man. I go, even when she got another woman pregnant and had children with her, and she goes, yes, even then. She was a woman. She was a woman. 
She was a woman that fucked another woman and got her pregnant. Okay. What? Just hang up. What? Yeah. What are we doing? I know. Like, this is so crazy. You got to tap out of those conversations. Like, even Bruce Jenner, when he transitioned to Caitlyn Jenner and then eventually got his his surgery, right? Mm -hmm. got, or her surgery. Become, she said, even before the surgery, though, it didn't change anything. I was always 100% a woman. Okay? Then because, why get surgery? Well, because you're thinking that uh, gender is just with genitalia. That's your mistake. You personally. Oh, okay. And that's that's the what mistake. What is it? It's it's gender's not just genitals, it's in your mind. Right. So So it's also like that's facial why you, reconstruction. That's why you just said something fucking stupid and I just <laughs> let you know how dumb that was. So what is the difference? Someone said that uh, there's gender and then there's there's biological sex and that gender is the operating system and biological sex is the hardware. 100% agree. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <sighs> Outrage over transgender female weightlifter <laughs> who destroyed her <laughs> rivals by hoisting 19 kilograms more than the runner up. Now she's a contender for the Commonwealth Games. That's mm. uh yeah. Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. Oh my god, look at the size what of her. What the fuck? Laurel. She's a goddamn gorilla. So Made her international weightlifting debut in Melbourne. It's about on forty Sunday. pounds more than the second place person. <sighs> yeah. Jesus. What in the fucking holy hell? Is oh that, my yeah, god! Look at the her. size of her. Fuck. Um, yeah. Can you, and you imagine if you're a biological woman who's been training and working hard all her life. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you have to compete with this. And you're like, I'm first place, yeah. bitch. Like, and she's giant. Like, look at the yeah. size of her head. Her formerly male head. Yeah, that's a giant woman. That's just a way to get medals. Well, it's it's sandbagging. Yeah, that's what a lot of it is. That's fucked up, man. That is that's what that is what a lot of it is. That's not fair. And people don't that's want to admit fair. that. Yeah, sandbagging, if you don't know what it means, is like you would get that in martial arts tournaments. Like, say you would have a tournament, and the tournament would be um, like for blue belts only, which yeah. is like one rank above white belt. Mm -hmm. And then guys would be like a black belt in judo, and they would enter into the blue belt division and of, oh, stomp yeah. everybody. Right. And you're they're like, like oh, I don't have a belt in that. Right. Yeah. yeah. But he's sandbagging like you know what they're doing yeah and everybody knows what they're doing you see that shit and you you see you, you there's there's a lot of that where people just want to win mm -hmm. and the way they can win is by competing against people that are not on their same level sure if you don't think that people do that when they switch over from being a man for 30 years and then competing as a woman and not tell them and just start smashing these That's women so if you don't think there's something in that then yeah. you don't understand athletics yeah. you don't understand competition you don't understand sandbaggers, and you don't understand the kind of people that wouldn't tell people about that in the first place. Sure, yeah. But they don't want to look at it that way. They want to. Everything has to go through the filter of being progressive. So you have to err on the the side of being the the most open minded, the most liberal, and the most progressive. Yeah. Which I'm a hundred percent for. If women want to fight a transgender woman, if a right. woman wants to, I think you should be able to ride bulls i think you should be able to skydive i think you should be able to do uh, fucking bungee jumping i think you should do a lot you should be able to do a lot of ridiculous crazy dangerous shit you should be able to do flips with bmx bikes why shouldn't you be able to fight a man yeah why shouldn't you be able to fight a transgender woman a woman who used to be a man you should be able to if you're a man if you're and signing you're, up for it yeah if you're a woman rather and you're 130 pounds you want to fight a 130 pound 100% man, no no transgender, no nothing. If you want to do that, you yeah. should be allowed to. Yeah. You should be allowed to. I don't advise it. I think it's a terrible idea for you. Yeah. You're going to get pummeled. Well, if it's a good fighter, you are. <coughs> There's just, what is this? What's going on here? Bodybuilder. What are you showing me, Jen? It's, uh, oh, it's, powerlifting. Yeah, the article says this person can't decide to compete as a man or a woman, and this is what they look like. Well, they can... can't decide whether to compete as a man or a woman? That's what, That's what he used to look like on the left? Yeah. Fucking A, man. And then, oh, my God, he was super jacked. And now he is on the right, yeah. and he's the – but he looks like he's still a man. It says he hasn't uh, trans, tran transitioned yet. Still oh, lives okay. his life as both. He lives his life as both. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is where you're seeing that there's some of these fucking people have mental illness. Yeah. Like there was an ep episode of Radio Lab where this one guy, who's also a girl, 
um, switches back and forth. And under pressure, he changes. Like he's Paul or he's Cindy. And this is what? On what? Radio Lab. It's a okay. podcast. Uh -huh. and, but Radio Lab is so fucking left wing. And I love them. They're amazing. Yeah. But they're so left wing and so progressive that they are unwilling to note and, and, and even even address the preposterous nature of this fucking person who's like, I just switched. Now I'm Cindy. Right now? Now I'm back to Paul. Mm. I'm back to Paul now. In the conversation? Yes, in the conversation. Like, I just okay. turned over. Like, oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, you're this special creature that can just go back and forth and, and switch genders. Yeah. Or, are you fucking crazy, Paul slash Cindy? Yeah. We would never have violated Paige's wishes in this story. It's an unfortunate understanding. What did, what did, he, what did he pull this up? This is their note when they had to change the whole story, remember? They had to go back because they got mad that they misgendered them in the original podcast. Oh. How do they misgender if she goes back and forth? They have to keep up at the moment? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> That's so, so they misgendered how? Were they called her a him um, or him a her? Which one's the misgendering? So miscommunication was between the reporter and the actual person they were talking to. Yeah, the person's fucking crazy. You can't just go back and forth and back and forth. Like, cut the shit. You know, I mean, this this oh, whole thing is just look, preposterous. The, the upcoming, they will remove references to the name she no longer recognizes. Does that mean that afterwards? <laughs> afterwards, she, she like, decided to go full female. That's what happened. What you and keep so, calling me Craig for, man? <laughs> so at one point in time during the show, she she switches. Like, Come I'm, on, I'm, man. I'm Paul now. I'm Paul now. Now yeah. I'm back to Cindy. Cindy, Cindy's light. You can Cindy's not. happy. Cindy's loose. You Cindy doesn't care. Psychiatric help at this well, point. At one point in time, we see. Here's the thing: you're not allowed to say that when it comes to gender. When it comes to anything else, if you like, oh, I recognize as a wood elf. I'm a wood elf. You know, that's how I. That's how I identify. Yeah. I, I'm a sprite. I yeah. should be in the forest, flying yeah. around with the butterflies. Like people go, oh, he probably has, has an issue. That guy's schizophrenic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But if it's a guy who's built like Brock Lesnar, yeah. who's like, you know, I've always identified as Amanda, as a, a small, thin yeah. woman who people are like, yeah, who dances. Totally cool. Yeah. We should respect that. Yeah, we should respect that. When it comes to gender, gender That's is true. this weird thing that we allow all sorts of very illogical Isn't that behavior. Wild? Like, yeah, like these seventy-eight plus gender. St but by the way, they're adding more. There's more. Like there, there weren't enough. There's more gender pronouns now than ever before. But like, if it's a guy at a bus stop who's like, "I am the president," you don't go like, "Oh, we should respect the fuck out of that right now." Right. You're just like, "Oh my he god." He identifies as the leader of the free world. Yeah. We should address that. No, you're supposed to be like, "Hey, stand over here." Don't get close <sighs> yeah. To that when it comes to gender, we're supposed to we give like a lot of leeway. We let a lot of things slide. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and I think. It's f for good reason. I think the, the good part of it is that we recognize that there are people that really do wish that they were a woman and would like you to call them a woman, and why not? Let let the guy become a gal, sure. and maybe they'll be happier that way. And, and it shows, I guess it shows acceptance and kindness on our part to just allow that to happen. True. But the problem with that is it's a goddamn slippery slope, and a lot of this weirdness that's going on is people trying to control other people's behavior and one of the ways they try to do that is try to get you to use words that they've made up yeah this is where you're seeing how preposterous it is the it's, level the number of pronouns is also 78 just, i mean i until understand recently. somebody saying like i don't identify like i understand that concept it's not right too hard to understand but where it's like i also have free reign on a hundred words <laughs> that you should possibly know to address me by. Yeah. It's like, what are you fucking, why are you bothering everybody? Yeah. Like, what, what is, is that what well, you get off on? Well, you become special that way. Yeah, of course. You get special rights, special privileges, special attention. You get, it's I'm, just special consideration. I remember, I'm trying to remember if my, uh, yeah, on my, yeah, yeah, I've, I've had on my profile on Twitter for a long time. Like, if you read my first <laughs> bio sentence, I'm a comedian. Is this comedian Zimzer? That's my <laughs> pronouns. But nobody respects it. <laughs> well, I didn't even know Zim. Yeah, I, Zim is a big one. It's big. I know Zer, Z, Z H E R. Or Z E R, yeah. Zimzer. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Those are these motherfuckers. There's just so many.